Thank you, Vice Chairman, sir. I, on behalf of my party, stand to raise to support this bill. Sir, it is very heartening to note that almost all the members of this August House, in one voice, raise against the consumption of e-cigarettes. And it is, the, it is the policy of our Andhra Pradesh government and also wish of our Honorable Chief Minister that not only e-cigarettes, but also the other substances like tobacco, cigarettes, and then narcotic substances, and then even the uh, liquor, uh, alcohol, and also the games such as playing of cards, and all these, all all these problems, uh, uh, all these evil, evil, uh, evils, which are which are plaguing the humanity, humans should be banned. At the same time. A care should be taken to ensure, and it should be ensured that not a single farmer should be put to loss, and not a single worker should should uh, not a single worker to lose the employment. Sir, uh, it was originally thought, and uh, when e-cigarettes were introduced, that the that it e-cigarettes were the only solution for smoking problem. Instead of consume consuming the instead of smoking the uh, tobacco cigarettes and e-cigarettes were considered to be uh, a, a better solution. However, the researchers, health practitioners and the governments world over began to realize that the ill effects of e-cigarettes quite for some time now. Sir, instead of, instead of becoming a counter, in, instead, of become, instead of reducing the use of tobacco, it is being used as a first step. E-cigarettes e are being used as a first step to get into smoking of tobacco cigarettes. Particularly, the youth are getting attracted towards that. Therefore, e-cigarettes are proving to be an add-on add -on to smoking and becoming total counterproductive. Sir, the adverse effects of the nicotine are already well known. Continuous use of nicotine affects the development of fetus during the pregnancy and cardiovascular diseases and involved in the biology of malignant diseases, hence termed tumor pro promoter. Therefore, the just banning the e-cigarettes is totally justified. So to make the matters worse, electronic nicotine delivery systems are much more attractive than cigarettes coming in various flavors that reduce the initial inhibitions that arise due to bad taste of cigarettes. Sir, e-cigarettes do not fall within the scope of existing national legislation on tobacco production, distribution, and use of it. A clear legislative vacuum is clearly visible, which has become a breeding ground for overuse, overuse without due research on implications being undertaken. Sir, the last point which I would like to highlight is the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control invited all the signatories to consider prohibiting or regulating the e-cigarettes in order to minimize the potential health risks associated with them. While India, while India has prohibited the manufacture, trade and advertisement of e-cigarettes now with this ordinance, there is a wide variation in the approach taken by the different countries to regulate the e-cigarettes, sir. Sir, at present, over about 30 countries, including Brazil, Brazil, Mexico, and Thailand, have banned the manufacture, trade, and advertisement and e-cigarettes. Therefore, we fully support the government in this regard, and the uh, banning e-cigarettes is totally justified, uh, uh, justified in this regard. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you.